I think of Ottman Benjelon as a friend, and I uh, think uh, of him as a man of wisdom and experience. So, as far as I was concerned, he never had to elbow his way into prominence, but that was one of the reasons for his influence, because you could always knew that Ottman was who he was, and that he didn't need any particular relationship. So he was thinking in big terms, and for that reason, he has been unusually successful. I believe one of the most important qualities a human being can have is reliability. Uh, you can always find a bright guy to give you a technical answer, but you cannot always find somebody on whose judgment you can rely, uh, even when things are difficult. But I always saw him as a very active businessman. Uh, he, many Americans who had to do business or did business in Morocco uh, would ask his opinion. Uh, I always uh, asked his advice on how I should act in Morocco. Otman, I'm proud to have this opportunity to congratulate you on the honor that the city of Fez is paying to you. You're responsible for a great deal of my association with your great country. We were in Fez together on one occasion, and you have been active in the Center for Strategic International Studies at Washington in the Moroccan-American uh, friendship group that I chaired for a while, and in so many other activities that has brought our two countries and our two families together. Uh, you have been a good friend, a great Moroccan, and a person who has worked indefatigably for international understanding. I'm very sorry that I will not be able to be present in person, but you should know that Nancy and I sent you our warmest greetings from our heart. <laughs>